Hi folks, my name is Aaron Powell and I'm a Principal Cloud Advocate here at Microsoft. In this video, we'll read the JSON in from the files that we found for each store and then we're going to write some JSON back out. Each store is providing us with a JSON file. So ideally, we want to read that as JSON to be able to work with it and generate our report. We'll create a function that can loop over all of the files and then read them in using JSON, JavaScript's native json.parse method. But how do we get the string contents to parse? The FS module, of course, it provides us with a read file method, which can take a path to read the contents of the file from. So let's jump back over to our application and we're going to add a new function called calculate sale total, which will take the array of sale files. And inside of that, we're just going to loop over and then we're going to use on line 55, json.parse with await fs.read file and then put that into the data and then we're just going to sum that up. We're just going to calculate the full total out here. Now, using the read file function, it will give us a buffer back for that file, not the raw contents. Thankfully, json.parse accepts a buffer. So it will parse it still nicely and it'll read the contents out correctly. But if we wanted the raw string contents, say we were parsing out a CSV file instead, you can pass through to the encoder a second argument and that is the file type encoding. So we could pass through UTF-8 and that will return us as a UTF-8 string that we can then read in. But again, as I said, json.parse is capable of reading a buffer. So we're just going to pass the buffer straight through. All that's left now is to generate our JSON file for our report. And it's going to contain a couple of bits of information, the number of stores that we've found and the total of that day's reports. So we're going to call that calculate sales total, which will return us the uh, number uh, in our, for our report. And then I'm just going to add an additional property called store, uh, total stores, which is the number of files that we found. Lastly, we need to update the way that we're writing this out, and that's going to be the fs.writeFile method. So instead of just putting the empty string, we're going to use json.stringify to convert the JavaScript object to a JSON string that we can write to the disk. And we're just going to do pretty printing. So we'll just add some additional arguments and it's just going to have a two uh, level indent. Now, if we save our application and then if, uh, we'll jump over to our terminal and run it with node index.js, we'll see that we get a new folder created called sales totals. And if we have a look into that folder, we'll find our new report file that's been generated. And it contains the JSON as we were expecting. You see that it's, uh, it's formatted with pretty print and all that sort of stuff you know, as we were hoping for. Now, if we were to run it again, we'll see that we get some slightly different messages out to the console because it has found the folder already. So it doesn't need to create the folder and it's, um, uh, it's found the, the file, so we'll have deleted it and recreated it. Uh, and then that's all worked and it's all got the correct error handling. And with that, our application is successfully able to navigate the file system, find files with the right extensions, create paths that are correct for the operating system it's running on, create new folders and files, and lastly, read JSON in from existing files and write JSON back out. Thanks for joining me for this video series and we hope to see you next time. Bye for now.